A comment that I have received in one of my recent videos was saying that I should sleep really well because I'm helping many beginners with ready to use robots and strategies. But if I have to be honest, it's really a lot of work to do all of that and I don't sleep a lot. Okay, I'm kidding. It's because I have three cats. However, I thank you guys so much for all of your comments. I'm really happy that the robots and the strategies have been informative and useful. And in today's video, I have prepared an oil trading robot that you will be able to download for free if you stay with me until the end of the video and I want to go straight to the point showing you the strategy behind the robot and while I move to my computer you guys have the time to smash the like button and I will see you there. Hi my name is Petko Alexander hope you're having a great day and in today's video I will share with you a fantastic strategy for the oil and this is the strategy behind the oil trading robot that you can download down from the description and for me personally as a trader it is crucially important to know how robots work and what are the conditions they open and close trades because many buy expert advisors or robots from the marketplace and they have no idea about how these robots are opening and closing trades they depend just on the back tests they see on pictures or videos and spend tons of money of robots that are very likely to blow the account so the most important thing you need to keep in mind to avoid blowing an account is to keep a good money management or to trade a very small portion of your capital for example i have two accounts right here one is on metatrader where i have the top five stocks that I'm trading for Apple, Amazon, Google, Tesla, and Meta. And these five robots I have shared in my top five stock scores, which you can find down in the description. And you can see that in $10,000 account, I have a few trades that are currently open. And you can see that my margin is 575, which means that I have used just $500 out of the $10,000. And I have some trades open at the moment, about $50 of a profit, which is quite normal for 10K account. But on the other hand, I have that MetaTrader 4 platform where I placed one of the Bitcoin robots I showed in one of my previous videos. I will drop link down in the description again. And here I have been trading one complete lot in 10k which is huge to trade one bitcoin in 10k you can see that i nearly doubled my account but it could have been the other way around and i could have blown my account so that is something i wouldn't suggest you to do especially if you are a beginner you better trade a very small portion of your capital instead of risking and being greedy for more profits just like as i do sometimes so this oil strategy has performed really well for the last one year and a half you can see since when i have the back test on ei studio and the statistics shows that it brings over 100 dollars on average per day and this is trading with one lot so if i increase the one lot to let's say 10 lots i will have one thousand dollars of profits per day, which obviously is super risky. If I decrease it to point one, then I'll have $10 and I know that I'll be risking a very small portion of my account. So that's why it is very important to decide how much you'll be risking from your account. And quite often people ask me, okay, what is the starting amount for that robot? There is no starting minimum or maximum. It is important how much of the starting amount you'll be risking. Now, let me bring it to one lot. This is where I'll be trading this strategy. And let me show you what it is. We use Stochastic as an entry and we have the rule that stochastic should be higher than the level line we have k period 13 d period of 9 slowing 6 and level 73 if you want take notes so if i open the indicator chart we should see the stochastic above the level line of 73 so we are allowed to open long trades and you can see that right at this period the stochastic is above the 73 so we have the confirmation that a long trade could be open and you see that right in here we have that signal for a long trade but it comes from the D marker the D marker crosses the level line downwards period 13 level 0.80 
one let me try to round it a little bit more to 80 we have bigger profit per day 128 dollars but you see that recently the equity line is actually declining so i'll bring it back to 0.81 and i'll hit on accept i will stick to that less profit per day but better looking balance chart and the d marker here is the main entry rule the stochastic is just confirmation okay so whenever the marker crosses the level line downwards let's see where that happens right over here you can see that we have the d marker crossing the level line downwards and at this moment we have the confirmation from stochastic being above the 73 and on the opening of the next bar right over here on the opening of the next bar a long trade is opened this strategy has a reverse and with this example it actually happened on a reverse you can see that here we had that short trade which went on a loss and the reverse means that we should close the short trade and open the long trade. Let's see why the short trade was open in the first place. We have the confirmations. Stochastic is below the 27, which is the opposite side. We are looking at the short trade now, which means we should mirror the conditions for the long trade. And at the same time, we have the D marker crossing the 0.19 level, okay? What is the exit if we don't reverse? We have Bollinger Bands and we should see the bar opens above upper band after opening below at period 27, deviation 378. Or to make that a rule simple, we should see the Bollinger Band going above the upper band if we are in a long trade, so we can close that long trade. Let me look for such an example very quickly on the charts. So most of the time we have reverse right over here where we have the green line means we are in long trade and when there is a red line it means we are in a short trade again long trade short trade so here is another example of a losing trade this is a profitable trade then over here we have that profitable short trade and i just want to show you one example where the exit condition was applied right over here for the short trade you can see that the price dropped below the lower band of the Bollinger Band so we exit the short trade and we should exit the long trade when the price goes above the upper band obviously it happens rarely right over here we have that long trade we have the confirmation from stochastic the d marker crossing the level line we're in long trade and right over here the price broke the upper band and we take the profit quickly usually bollinger bands are crossing one or the other line whenever there is a volatility so this strategy aims to grab the profits right after the volatility here we have that bar breaking the bollinger bands and on the open of the next one we are closing the trades and taking the profit what we have stop loss of nine dollars and eighty cents and take profit of seven dollars and 95 cents let me increase it to eight dollars and see if that would be better or not yep actually a little bit better i prefer the roundish take profits i'll keep it that way and now what i will do i will export this strategy as an expert advisor for metatrader 4 for metatrader 5 you will find it down in the description and this is the code for the expert advisor so if you have programming skills you can go through it if you don't you better not touch it and once you put it on metatrader and compile it you will get the ex files which are the ready to use robots there is a complete guide down in the description guys how to place the robot on metatrader how to backtest it and how to use it properly so you guys should really give it a try with that robot on a demo account virtual account so you're not risking anything if you decide to use any of the robots that i share in my videos for live trading and you risk some real money that is your personal decision it's your own risk don't blame anybody it's not the market it's not the broker it's not papa pal because he keeps rising interest rates it's not not because Petco shares free robots on YouTube, but because you guys took the decision to trade live. You have to trade 
just on a demo account to practice and learn until you're confident with the results. Maybe you will twist a little bit the robot, maybe you will mix it up with some manual analysis that you do. But the moment you open live trades, this is your personal decision and risk you are taking. You have to embrace that. And if you will feel better if I tell you that I have lost money as a beginner, yes, I lost some money when I started trading, but that's how we learn. And if you want to know more strategies, and get free robots you guys make sure to subscribe check out all the links down in the description look for the trusty brokers download the robot grab some free crypto and stocks and I'll be super happy to see you in the next video you take care and I wish you a wonderful day